the secret hack to being a cool guy. I used to never be a cool dude, and I'm still not that cool of a dude, just <laughs> to be very clear. But I'm a cooler guy than I was, all right? I'm a cooler dude than I was. I used to be pretty lame. And after going through ups and downs, you know, I didn't constantly go from like down here to like way up there somewhere. I was a guy that was not very cool, then I became cooler, then I got less cool, because I started taking myself too seriously, and then I got more cool again. And now I'm on the transcendent path to become ultimately cool. Now. Enough about me, I'm gonna help you become cooler. That's really what I wanna do in this video. And there are three ways to become a cooler guy, and a lot of them are pretty counterintuitive. So hopefully, there are things that you haven't really heard before, or there are spins on mindsets that you've had in the past that will help you. You know, there's gonna be some real shit in here, but it's not gonna be like a fucking do better, stop being a piece of shit, stop being a fucking loser like you're used to with all the red pill stuff. Like, it's actually gonna be really tangible advice. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, pay attention, all right? Point number one that I wanna get into is the key to not taking yourself so seriously, okay? Because the fact is, the people that think they're right about everything, if you're one of these guys that's like, I know why my dating life sucks, or I know why I'm like this, or I know why I'm shy, I know why I'm not cool, and you're the type of guy that you know for sure, and if it's not something that you're actively getting noticeably better at over the course of like, one month, then you don't know shit, okay? And not taking yourself so seriously is the first key to learning any skill as well. If you wanna learn to get better with women, it's very fucking important for you to drop your ego and be like, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about when it comes to women. That was a really big thing for me. I have gone through phases in my game where I felt like I was like a theory junkie, you know? I was the guy that was watching the YouTube videos, watching the free shit. Oh man, this is so cool and epic. I know all the theory, all the ways that girls like, guys and all this stuff and it just ultimately led to me thinking I knew more than I did when I was like honestly dude I was pulling girls that like for me were like six and a half seven out of ten and and it was like once a month maybe and it's like yeah that was cool compared to like my friends that got no play from women that were like virgins or had sex with like two girls in their whole life and like never had a girlfriend but it was not even close to what it could have been and what I wish it would have been it wasn't even close and when I envisioned myself in the future it was always like you know not a different girl every night but it was like two two girls a week maybe that I'd want to hook up with or whatever because that's what my goal was when I first started and I really wanted that I wanted to systematize my dating life and I bought some courses I'd even invested I was like oh I'm not like those losers that only consumes free content I invest in courses I'm so epic I'm fucking awesome and so I thought because I knew the theory that I was somehow better and eventually I got on a call with someone on Todd V's team he's a dating coach really good stuff I haven't watched this stuff in a while but it was really good and this guy basically broke down my dating life and had me say out loud like yeah I've basically been on no dating in the last two years with a girl that I'm really stoked like eight to nine to 10 out of 10 about. And it made me think, shit, here I was deluding myself into thinking I was getting results, but I just... <laughs> I wasn't. I just wasn't. And as soon as I dropped that ego, you know, I dropped the money on the coaching because just that realization honestly was worth it because it made me realize like I needed more. I wanted more and I could do more. But it also was a thing where I was like, well, okay, now I can start implementing something that a coach is telling me to do. And within like three months, there were like 10 weeks before COVID started, I pulled seven times. So I hooked up with seven different girls that were all hotter than most of the girls that I had been with before at least. And I was like, holy shit, man, this is crazy. <laughs> This is insane. I can just go out and like go home with a girl. That's just what life is. And if I go outside during the day, like I could meet a girl to go on a date with. And my life never would have gotten to that point if I didn't drop my ego and realize like, I don't know shit. So point number one is you don't know shit, all right? The more you think you know, the less you know. Because the more I learn, the more I'm like, shit, man, I'm not very good. Like I'll actually tell you something. I'm not very good at being cool with cool people. You guys might not think that because of like whatever content you watch. Dude, when a guy's cool, I'm like, fuck, man. Some of my clients, I, I work with like some pretty high level dudes. They listen to me and like I teach them stuff and it really really does help them get results. But like on a coolness factor, I think they're like a couple of my clients are way cooler than me. Okay. <laughs> like they are way fucking cooler than me. And some of them like shout me out on podcasts or my client day did this. And I was like, bro, day is so much cooler than me. Day Cantave. What a fucking cool guy. And I worked with him. I helped him a lot, but it was like, Jesus, man, like I have a real hard time with cool people. Okay. And the more that I learn, the more things like that, I realize about myself, the more objectively I am able to look at myself and say, oh shit, I actually don't know anything. I need to get better X, Y, and Z. 
busy. That's really important, okay? Point number two with becoming a cooler person is to stop not only pedestalizing people, but stop pedestalizing yourself and specifically your own problems. A lot of you guys have this crazy victim mindset where you say things like, it's hard for me. I don't think you understand how hard it is for me. And when you pedestalize those problems and you specifically say, hey, this is hard for me. My life is hard. This is difficult. When you do that, not only do you alienate other people, so it makes you worse at connecting with people, but you alienate yourself from those other people because you think you are different than everyone else. You're simultaneously pedestalizing other people because you think they don't have problems and you're de-pedestalizing yourself. You're like putting yourself on a negative pedestal. It's like a pit in the ground, okay? So you're inside this pit and everyone else is up here. And it's like, how is that gonna lead to you being cool? The coolest people take the people on the pedestal, take them off. They take themselves in the pit. They raise themselves up and they talk to them like, hey dude, you're just like a normal guy. I'm not better than you. You're not better than me. We're just the same. And I don't need to prove to myself or I don't need to prove to you that we are the same either. And that's a really big thing as well. It's very important to realize that you don't need to prove anything to anybody. Now, before we get into point number three, which is gonna wrap all of this together, I wanna let you know that I can actually personally coach you. If you feel like you're getting stuck, I can coach you for $54 a month. Or if you fill out the application below for mentorship, I can work with you personally inside my program to give you specific advice that's custom tailored to your situation. Either one, if you're a guy that values time over money, then you should do the mentorship. I only take a few per month, so hopefully there's open spots if you click the link below. If there's not, the guys in the $54 a month community, they get first dibs in my coaching program, open up slots. Point number three is bring people together. You can literally do this in a very tangible way when you go out. You can start talking to a group and then turn to another group next to you and be like, hey, what's up? You should meet my friend Jack here. Hey, my friend Jack likes you. Turn to another girl, you're talking to this group of guys. Hey, my friend Jack likes you. That's a very good way to bring people and be a connector, connect people together. The guy that can bring people together is automatically way cooler. And not only that, but the guys that can put themselves through uncomfortable situations, especially discomfort in social situations, those guys, they do the best with women and they are the coolest because nothing seems to phase them. Nothing seems to bother them. If something awkward or weird can happen and you can take it in stride and just immediately move on, like, oh, it's actually no big deal. And you actually let it slide off your back. You don't just act like it doesn't bother you, but it actually doesn't. And this comes from point number one, not taking yourself so seriously. And number two, seeing everyone as on your level. If you can do that, you're gonna be the fucking coolest guy in the room. I promise you. So take that advice, take it to the bank, like the video, subscribe if you liked the video, if you wanna see more stuff like this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.